This is a Florida Bar News TV update. Every dollar spent on civil legal services for the state's low-income residents adds $7 to the state's economy, according to a new study, which also found that funding for civil legal aid is at a 10-year low. The Florida Bar Foundation announced the findings of its study earlier this month. Chief Justice George Labarga said, Civil legal aid helps ensure fairness in our justice system, but its benefits extend well beyond that. Among the study's findings, civil legal aid helps clients obtain federal benefits, child support, wages, and unemployment compensation, including more than $120 million in Social Security benefits, nearly $71 million in Medicaid and Medicare reimbursements, and almost $3 million in veterans' benefits. That money then gets pumped back into Florida's economy, with an impact of more than half a billion dollars in 2015 and the creation of more than 2,000 new jobs. The money generated by civil legal aid also provides provides savings for the government and eases the burden on Florida's courts. Florida Bar President Bill Shafino praised the role Bar members play in providing pro bono services, 1.7 million hours of free legal services, and $5.3 million in contributions to Florida legal aid organizations last year, but said more can be done. Although these pro bono figures are impressive, they are sadly still not enough to meet the growing needs. Florida's poverty rate has risen from 11.1 percent in 2000 to 16.2% in 2015. A million Florida children are living in poverty, Shafino said. He urges Florida's lawyers to continue supporting legal aid organizations throughout the state. To read more about the study, go to floridabar.org slash news. Read the Florida Bar News online at floridabar.org slash news.